Thursday, December the 17th, 1903, news came clattering across the world wire machines that two brothers from Dayton in Ohio had flown a curious-looking air machine over the beach at Kitty Hawk in North Carolina for more than a minute. And if anyone was sceptical about the claim, these pictures were to prove it was true. For several years, at the turn of the century, dozens of groups in Europe and America had been trying to get a flying machine to work. But defying gravity wasn't proving easy. Nevertheless, Wilbur and Orville Wright, after a long period of trial and error, found a formula that seemed to work. The problem they and everyone else had faced was how to generate enough power to get the machine off the ground and to keep it going once it was up in a stable and steady flight. The Wrights had developed a lightweight 25 horsepower engine which provided a much higher power to weight ratio than anything that had gone before. With this and a little help on the launch site from a heavy lead weight, they were airborne and away. This dramatically successful flight was the result of several years of secret work by the Wrights, using models in a wind tunnel near their home. Only the most far-sighted and enthusiastic believed at the time that what the brothers were doing would have any lasting significance. But what they just witnessed was the start of a transport revolution. From now on, the world was to become in many ways a much smaller place.